Hi everybody, I'm Danny, Don is behind the camera, and we'd like to thank you for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to be giving you the truth about Torque Lift International and the fast gun tie down system. This video is going to be in two segments, it's a very short video. Segment one is going to be about the assembly, segment two is going to be about the operation and what we think of the product. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss it. Okay, now we're going to show you how to assemble the torque lift fast guns. So if my lovely assistant will come over here, I'll show you what comes in the box. So you have the two fast guns here. I want you to keep this off to the side for a second. I'll explain that in a second. We're using the 20 or the 14 and a half to 21 and a half uh, inch rods. It comes with all your hardware. So it has your square nuts, your, your uh, locking nuts, your bushings and your o-rings it also has two quick licks or two quick connects and these can be used to lock the mechanism here or use use a lock which we do the tools i'm going to be using for this is a socket wrench socket wrench extension and a three quarter inch socket and a crescent wrench that i'm not going to use in the conventional way okay wanted to show you the two different lengths and if I remember correctly, I have to read the box just to make sure that I say this the right way. But this is the 25 to 43 inch, and this is the 14 and a half to 21 and a half. We have a, a flat bed, so we're going to be using this to uh, uh, hook up our, our, our host camper to our flat bed. But if you have torque downs on the sides, on the frame, you're going to use the long ones. But the assembly is exact same thing, it's just different lengths. Alright, this the assembly is, is not that hard. You're gonna grab your fast gun, you're gonna grab the rod, you're gonna put the rod into the assembly, lift the handle up until you see the rod coming out. You can see the rod there moving. So once I get to that level, you're gonna take a flat nut and you're gonna stick it. on here bring it in just a little bit and twist and you'll see that it'll, it'll, it'll start to catch well maybe I have to put my finger on it to get it to catch so once it's caught you're just going to twist it because the, the flat nut won't turn because it's the same size that is the diameter of that so I'm going to twist that up to get the rod you want about maybe an inch and a half uh, thread on top of the, the flat nut so you can do the rest. So I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Okay, so that's about as much length as you want from the flat bolt nut, excuse me, to the top of the bolt. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to turn it around here because I'm right handed. I'm going to get the bushing and you're going to push the bushing down on top of the rod. Just use your finger to kind of get it started. See how it's in there now? Okay, and then you want to go down on that about an inch, half inch, inch. It's kind of tough because it's just, it's tight, so what I do is push my put my finger in here and twist the rod to give me some like that. Okay. Now the one of the, this step here, I'm going to take the nut, and this is a three quarter inch nut. It's a locking nut. Same thing. Put your finger on top just to get it started. Oh, it's going to storm. Okay, now that it's started, you can see that it started. Now here's where the tools come in effect. So there's two different ways that you can do this. In the directions it says, maybe you might want to get close to this. So you're going to take that nut and you can push the handle down on top of that and get somebody to hold this, clamp it down and turn this to, to tighten up the nut. I found that kind of difficult. So what I do is I'll take the, the three quarter inch socket and I'll stick the socket in 
in here like so. I'll take the extension, put it through here like so, and now let's take the socket and I'll twist. Now here's where the crescent wrench comes into effect. I'm basically just using this as a lever. So I'm going to put it through the hole and I'm just going to hold on to it. So the bar here doesn't turn when I'm turning the socket. You only want to go down a, a little bit, you know, they say just to cover so the uh, threads come out on the other side, which is about right there. I'm going to go just a little bit more, maybe one or two more turns. that out so that's what it wants to look like okay now the final step is this cap here goes over the hole here and they say you can use a screwdriver to put it in I just put it in finger tight and then I get the extension because it's kind of hard you can't push it down with your finger and I use the extension with my crescent wrench. Ta-da! Perfect. So there's more than one, one use for a tool. And the O-ring goes on the bottom down here. Down to this part here. So that's how you, you build it. Would that take like five minutes? And that's kind of taking my time because we're videoing. We'll go over the operation and everything else with this, but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to build a torque lift fast gun. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you the correct way to install these. They say to keep it closed, the handle, keep this closed, go through the top hook. And you're gonna put this down approximately a half inch. I've already kind of measured it, but you wanna lower, raise and lower with this here. And this gets you in the general ballpark of the 300 pounds of pressure that you need uh, on here to hold the truck camper down in the proper, the proper pressure. So the fast gun is the only, only tie down system that has an O-ring indicator. And when I move this up and down, you'll be able to see the indicator going, uh, stretching. So we'll, I don't know if you can see that right now, but we'll, we'll go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna put it through the hole and then I'm gonna pull it down and you can see the O-ring indicator going down. So the proper 300 pounds of pressure is going to be between a, a quarter of an inch and a half an inch. So you want to basically do it, if you go too tight, you, you're cranking it down, it, it's too much. So it's, this gets you in the ballpark. So that's about 300 pounds of pressure. Fast gun is the only one that has a, an indicator ring on there that tells you where you're at with, with the pounds of pressure. Everybody else, you kind of just turn and twist and hope that you got it at the right uh, pounds. Also on here, it comes with a D-clip that you can put through the holes. Maybe if you can get the holes right here. So what Torque Lift came out with is the locking assembly. So it's real simple. You put it in there, you push that in, you close it up, and you're done. Nobody's stealing your fast gun. So it's not coming off, it's, it's great. We've been using fast guns for a long time. We've had it on our other truck camper and uh, on here. Fast guns, they have a lifetime warranty. So if this breaks, call it fast gun, tell them, they'll send you another one. They're made in the USA. They have great customer service. Their competition only has a one year warranty. So if it breaks, you're, you're done. You just lost all that money on what you've invested on the tie down system. So torque lift does cost more, but it's what you're paying for. You're paying for that, that's the customer service. You're paying for the warranty. So if this breaks, you just got to call up torque lift, tell them what's up and you're getting another set or another, another one that broke. So the competition, not so much. Once that year warranty has gone, it's done. So all the money that you put into that is done. So if you're gonna be doing this for a while and this is 
the lifestyle that you like and you've got this invested, this money in this, the money in this, put the money in this. You're going to kick yourself in the butt if you don't. So they come in four different colors. As you can tell, we have the black, which kind of goes with our boxes. It comes in black, white, gray, and stainless. The competition, just stainless. So if you kind of want it to look cool, look good, go with the color that matches what you got. They don't charge any more for the different colors. It's the same price. So if you look here, it also has indicators on here of where these are going to be located. So you can, you know, driver's front, driver's rear, passenger front, passenger rear. So if you take these off, uh, you take the truck camper off and you're at the campsite or whatever and you put these inside your boxes all you got to do is pull out the one for each specific corner so the other thing about the, the torque lift fast guns is it has that internal spring and if you think of that as like a shock absorber so when you're going off off in the forest roads or whatever let's just say you're going to alaska and you hit a pothole lots of potholes in alaska right so what happens is you put so much pressure on the camper to the truck with, with hitting those big bumps. And if you don't have something that absorbs that shock, what's gonna happen? You're gonna rip out your anchor points. So you just cause all kinds of damage to your truck camper. That's why you don't wanna over tighten these. You wanna have, they want to be, they wanna have the flexibility of this to move with the sway. You don't want the truck going all over the place, you know, the truck camper swaying in the back or moving around in the back of the truck, but you definitely want it so you have some shop, shock absorber on here. So a lot of people, they just do the, the old tie downs with the chains and everything. That's the best way to rip out your anchor points. I'd like to thank Torquelift for sponsoring this video. And I definitely recommend that you guys check out their products. I also forgot to tell you all that on these locks, they do come key to like, so one key will fit all four locks. So one of the biggest benefits, in my opinion, of the fast gun, check this out. If I want to get in my box, oh man, I can't. Boop. That's off. My box and all my junk. That's how fast it is. So if yours is blocking the gas cap, the gas tank, anything like that. They come off, man. They're super fast. Dude, I'm done. That's it. All right, guys. I think that's it for the video. I want to thank everybody for watching. And please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Next week, we have another torque lift video coming out on the lock and load sidekick. If you have a generator, you definitely want to check this video out. Again, thanks for watching.